everybody. First podcast of the Wicked Outdoors. I'm your host today, Jack, and this is Charles from Outdoor University. Today's topic's right. going to be yeah. Bigfoot. <laughs> Bigfoot, that's really what you're going to talk about today? Well, I've seen some of the Outdoor University videos there, and I came across the Bigfoot, and that really stunned uh, what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, what did you guys find out there? I've seen some of that footage. Well, you would know you were there. Um, let's talk about that. <laughs> uh well, it all started from an encounter. Uh, if you remember, I told you the story a while back. I think we was filming a uh, crankbait segment for largemouth bass on Channel Lips when I told you the story. Um, <laughs> this sighting took place in Northeast Ohio uh, at a probably about 2,000 acres, maybe 2,500 of woods that nobody is allowed to go in. And I mean, nobody. It was on a lake. We will not mention that lake. Private, it's a private lake. And um, me, pro staffer Zach Hall and pro staffer Gerald Anderson were there um, catfishing at night. We weren't filming because Outdoor University only films on public water. We were just there hanging out, doing some catfishing. We've caught some pretty nice cats out of this lake. We're fishing a sand point. It's about 2.30 in the morning. And um, we hear this big splash, like this kerplunk, like when you drop something in a swimming pool and it comes down and that big splash comes up. Yeah. You hear that kerplunk? That's what we heard. And I was like, well, that's kind of weird. So we're looking over. We're looking over that way. It was a full moon that night because I love to catfish on full moons. I know this isn't uh, a catfish segment, but, you know, how I am with teaching. Um, so I'll try not to talk about the full moon. I know that's going to be a little difficult. But anyways... About five minutes later, we're still looking over there trying to figure out what it is. Maybe not five, maybe three minutes. And we see one, a rock. Now, there's a 45-degree bank. That's probably <clears throat> 60 feet up from the lake, okay? There's no shore right there. We were on a point fishing. That's why we had, you know, some shore access. And I see this rock. It gets launched and it goes up. It's in the air. I can see it. It's the size of a basketball. It's the water. Splash. I'm like, who's throwing rocks out of here? Nobody's allowed to be here. And then, you know, I get to thinking, well, hold on. That was a pretty big rock. And uh, here in Northeast Ohio, there ain't no bear. So I'm like, what was that all about? You know, then 30 seconds later, another one, then another one, then another one, four of them. We seen three of them. <coughs> Excuse me. And I was like, that's really, 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 really strange, you know? And I, you know, and I'm, and I'm thinking that's kind of spooky, you know? And then I'm hearing breathing and I'm getting really weirded out. And I turn around and first ever Gerald Anderson He's so scared, he ran behind me, and his neck is, his lips were almost on my neck. He's, you know, hiding behind me. I'm like, get oh, out of here. You know, I'm like, wow. get back to your rod. You know, so he gets back there, and uh, about, I don't know, 40 minutes later, you know, we continue to catfish. We're talking about it. We're like, man, that's pretty damn weird, man. I mean, you know, we don't know anything, that, you know, that's that large to throw rocks. And this was a few years back, uh, I had to say, two years ago, I think this was, yeah, it was two years ago. And um, so we're talking about it. It's hard to, I, I'm trying, I try to explain this to the people that I tell the story to, and I don't say, I don't tell the story that often. 
you know, um, because I've been doing a lot of research. I was doing a lot of research on Sasquatch before this, too. And uh, we heard from, like, going north, probably about a half a mile from where the rocks were thrown. The rocks were only thrown maybe 30 yards from us. I mean, right as the point came out, right as it started to cut back in, a rock, you, you know, that's where the rocks were thrown. And I'm like, man, that's... That's weird, you know? So about 40 minutes later, up north, about a quarter of a mile. Jack, we heard this. I don't, I'm not going to call it a howl. I'm not going to call it a growl. I'm not going to call it a scream. It was more like a whoo, whoo. It was two of them, and they were really, really loud, real deep, real guttural, major chest. I mean, you felt it. They had bass on it. And it had, you know, it had distance and volume. And, you know, there's no echoes there, you know. So, and there was two of them. And they were like maybe 10 to 15 seconds apart. Then we didn't hear nothing at all. And I was like, oh, that's weird. So we went ahead, you know, we caught some cats. We caught some pretty nice cats, by the way, that, uh, you know, that night. And then about a week later, and I don't know if I told you this part, about a week later, me and Mr. Anderson was in there. And um, we took some rubber worms in there. We were doing some uh, big 10-inch uh, Berkeley Power Bay black blue tail Texas red worms, dragging them across this sandbar. Because on each side of the sandbar, you know, there's some gravel on one side and big boulders. And then bass will stay up, you know, right up on there when that current comes over. And, you know, blows them bait fish over, they'll come up and smack them. So we were over there doing some bass fishing and uh, we had some good luck. And uh, on that spot, you got to give them a minute. You know, you catch four or five, you got to, you got to move on and then come back or, or you'll shut them down for the whole day. So we walked around the lake and uh, walking around the lake when we come into this cove, we come out of this cove and then we're going into the sandbar. Right. And, uh, Right as you get out, you know, into the sandbar, there's probably from the edge of the shoreline, there's probably, I don't know, 15, 20 feet of real fine sand, real, you know, like lake sand, real fine sand. And there it was, man. Footprint. What? So it ain't no person. And uh, you can verify this with Mr. Anderson. He'll tell you the same story. It was uh, 14 and a half inches long, five inches wide. Uh, toes, five. I mean, dude, it, it looked like it stepped in ink and then stepped on a piece of paper. Wow. That's how clean it, you know, and, you know, and, and clear it was. So that's when I was like, whoa, man, that's, that's strange, you know, and I'm, I got a little freaked out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, all right, well, we're not going to go much farther. We fished that sand point, you know, and I had my head on a swivel. I'm looking around left, right. I'm looking all over the place for this thing. <laughs> yeah, right? that's, what I, uh, that's what I would have been doing for sure. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm looking back and forth all over the place. And I'm wondering what the hell is going on. Right. So anyways, after that, we work our way back around. We catch a few more bass. We leave. And I think it was last year we did a uh we were on our way there to uh i think i was taking you there to uh i think it was bass fishing weren't we yeah yeah we was bass fishing and uh we here at outdoor university you know a lot of people don't know this but uh jack here from uh wicked outdoors also works for outdoor university he's uh one of our co-founders and he's also a cameraman and our tech guy. You know, he does his own thing on the side and stuff like that. But uh, we were in there doing some filming. I think you were doing some filming. Yeah. We weren't sitting in, we were not shooting an outdoor university episode. I think we was uh, filming a Wicked production. Yeah. Um, so wasn't it? Uh, you are Wicked production, I think we we're filming for. And uh, if you remember, we weren't even in there. You know, to film a Bigfoot segment. Right. 
we came across some stuff. And, and I'll tell you what, I'm a skeptic. I'm a real skeptic. Well, when we put that little short up on the YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? I did it for fun to give, you know, to give, to give these people some other, you know, some kind of, you know, other uh, content besides me just teaching and dry all the time. I thought, that, you know, it'd be, you know, good to put up and it got a great, it got a crazy response. Um, but we weren't in there shooting that yeah and then we shot well you shot i, I what hours worth of video up in there, man. oh yeah well, kind it, of it was a good hour well I, I think we came to the agreement that you know um because if i remember you brought that with you from uh your archives over at uh wicked productions because you know, that was your footage, and I think you was going to produce it, but you allowed us to have a short clip of it. Yeah. You edited it out. You know, you edited it. You know, let us have a short clip of it. Um, and I don't know if you guys are releasing that or what you're doing. I have no clue. You know, I have plans you know? for it. You got plans for it? Oh, yeah, I got plans for it. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, but uh, we went ahead and we stuck it up, you know, on the Outdoor University website, you know, and before – we get people smacking the hell out of these comments. I want to, you know, set the record straight here. Um, I am founder and dean here at Outdoor University. Um, Jackie is co-founder of Outdoor University. We started this company together. Uh, he's got, you know, projects that he runs. All of Outdoor University's footage is shot and edited by You Are Wicked Productions. Okay. We don't do our own filming here at Outdoor University. That's all done by uh, You Are Wicked Productions. And he has his own projects. He, you know, does his own stuff. So I don't want people blowing up the comments. Goes, well, what are you guys talking about? You guys are the same. You know, we keep, you know, Outdoor University and Jack are affiliated, but Outdoor University and You Are Wicked Productions are only affiliated through the footage that he shoots for outdoor university so i just wanted to you know to clear that up jack because there's probably going to be some people out there want to know if that doesn't make much sense but like i mean i'm sure we filmed a lot out there oh yeah oh yeah we filmed a lot a lot of evidence the mounds is what got me the mounds i i think i let you guys have footage of that in one of your vi the video you um, did and actually that was the one you did and actually that was the one thing that i did want you that was one thing that i asked if you remember i i asked i personally asked you for that one piece i said look if you you know if you are going to allow us to have some of this footage um because there's some extraordinary footage there man i mean there's some i mean there's some evidence there, there that will uh freak a skeptic out you know what i'm saying yeah um, and i'm very skeptic and i was pretty blown away on and what we've seen, the footprints, the mounds, the bent trees, just just the mounds alone would make you really start yeah. thinking. Yeah, you know, for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, you know, you could go check out the footage. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll talk about it if you want to talk about it. You know, you know, talk about those mounds, man. What we did is we, I've always seen them because I always enter the same way into that property and we always see them and I've never hunted that property. I've wanted to, but I never have. And I know there's some monster white tail in there. Uh, and I'm talking to under class deer and I've never bothered that property like that. But those mounds have always been there. And I've always wondered, why are they here? It's just a big mound of dirt. And you can tell right next to it, that there used to be a hole there. You know what I'm saying? That's where the dirt came from. But that's never been developed ever since this country was found. It's always been woods. And we know this for a fact. Um, if I told you guys where it were, was, you'd be like, oh yeah, you're right, which I won't. And I'm sure Jack won't either. Nope. Here. That's classified information. But, uh, 
I think they bury their dead, man. I mean, I'm not going to say, you know, if these creatures are, are intelligent enough to do the things that people claim they do, hide from humans this long, they probably, you know, bury their dead, man. I, what I'm thinking is it is a species of homo sapien that just not has got around or as high up in the tree of evolution as we have. Maybe it's, you know, the evolution of Gigantopithecus. That's one theory. I think that's the theory that I actually proposed on that tape, ain't it? Yes. If I remember. Yes, it was. So, but, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, I'm still skeptic until I see one. But, man... That footage, when you release some of that footage, you know, because I've watched a lot of things on the internet, you know what I'm saying? When you release that footage, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to go, Ohio? What? Northeast Ohio? And they're going to be like, yeah, really? And yeah, it's Northeast Ohio, guys. There's no doubt about it. Where, you know, nobody's lying. Yep, it's very northeast, and I got the footage, and I'm planning this year to release it. Um, I'll get with you with that, with all the details, and we could sit down and. Yeah, I'd like to go. I'd like to go back with you on that segment. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, if you know, if you invite me, I'll come. I, you know, I'll show up if I'm not on the water that day. You know how I am. Oh yeah. You know, we got a real strict, you know, schedule here at the university. We do. I mean, we're constantly filming. You know, for people at Outdoor Universe, we're constantly filming, you know, for our subscribers and our fans. We're just, that's all we do, you know? It's all about them here. We're not, you know, we're not one of those YouTube channels that says, oh, yeah, just, you know, we just want you to watch and click and view. No, we interact with our, you know, our fans. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I was really thinking about sending some of the members down and doing footage, but I really want to go myself. So I'm going to keep that between me and you. Me and you can go investigate more into that sometime this summer, spring. Maybe, well, thank you for the, maybe yeah, a little bit of winter. Yeah, thank you for the invite. I really appreciate that, you know? I mean, because you know I'm bringing a rod. But I think, you know, if people are going to know that we didn't go in there, looking for this right because i had a pair of freaking waders on and rods in my hand <laughs> you know we right. weren't there filming a bigfoot segment guys this just this just happened yeah it just you happened know? it was stumbled across yeah i know mm. so i mean i knew what was going on in there, you know and we walked it ever since that day with the rocks when we were catfishing that night i do nothing look around while I fish that. I mean, I'm my head's on a swivel now, you know? And um, I know uh, a buddy of mine lives by that area and fishes in that lake. And he's told me some stories. He's got some dogs, um, some fairly large dogs. I'm not going to say what kind, because the minute I say what kind, everybody's going to know what I'm talking about. So, you know, Outdoor University viewers are real smart, you know. That's why they log on. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so I won't say, but he said, you know, that you know, one night he let his dogs out. And his dogs just come running back in, beating on the door, man, scratching at the door. And his dogs will bite you if you walk up there, you know. So, but I mean, I don't know. It's some pretty convincing, you know, footage. There's a lot of good evidence out there, you know. Yeah, I I, I want to see more evidence, but for me, because I'm such a skeptic of Bigfoot, I have to see him. I understand that, but you know, here's here's something that you should probably check out: the Miller documents. Check those out. Um, it's about this guy, man. He you know he claims he was a scientist and a biologist back in the '60s uh, for the Forestry Service. The National Forestry Service, not the state agency. Uh, he says that he recovered a body from one in Texas, I guess. Lightning struck a big tree. 
No, I think Texas was a, a fire. He recovered uh, a mom and a kid, Bigfoot or, or Sasquatch, from a fire down there. And I think it was a big redwood. Uh, lightning struck it and it fell on um, another female, if I do believe it. It's the Miller documents. Check it out. You know, yeah, I mean, there's a lot. Of, yeah, I mean, you know, you should check it out. I, I've been doing a lot of research myself. I mean, you know, I don't know about that. Um, there's a guy, his name is Todd Standing. I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to promote anybody, okay, uh, that I don't know. And I'm not going to say if his footage is real or not, but damn, excuse my language, you know, Jack, this, you got to check his footage out. Uh, Todd Standing, it's, he's pretty amazing. Uh, Discovery Bigfoot is, you can find it on YouTube. Watch that documentary. Wow. I mean, dude, he gets beat with a log by a Sasquatch. Oh, wow. Several on films. And I mean, clear, crystal clear 4K digital face shots, minutes long, minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes. I think, he, you know, he said he had 15 minutes of footage of the one watching flies. You can see so good. You can see the flies laying on its eye and it blinks. And it moves, you know, oh, to get the fly off its face. And wow. there's several different ones, not just one. Check out his footage. I mean, you don't hear much about him in the Bigfoot community. I don't know why. I don't know if something happened in his earlier career. Maybe he did some kind of a hoaxing or something you know, earlier in his career or something. Or I don't, I really don't know. I mean, I have no idea what happened to this guy. But there's that. Then there's that. I think we were just talking about this uh, the other day, that Justin guy that claims he shot one or yeah. shot mom and uh, uh, the kid, I think, is what it was. And I mean, I mean, you're kind of a researcher yourself. You've been doing a little research, you know, uh, yourself, Jack, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Ohio because I, I'm trying to see if any of the footage that I have, if somebody out there has similar footage and what i have they don't have people are going to be very shocked at what comes out yeah i well just from what i know you know because i think if i remember didn't you take a couple of days off last year from my university to do some filming for yourself yes i did hey, it's something that you didn't know you didn't know that i knew that but I see. I got people on the water, Jack. Somebody seen you going yeah. in the woods. Oh, uh. somebody seen you going in the woods. That's how I know. You know, you know, you got to watch going on them sick days. You know, because one of these days you're gonna get sick and you're gonna run out of sick days, and you're gonna need them. Right. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I mean, it is what it is. But uh, it's gonna be a good time. You know, this year. Um. I think 2022, especially with advances, Jack, with, with technology, I think there's going to be a lot of good footage coming around. I really do. Oh, absolutely. I think some of these Bigfoot investigators, man, somebody's somebody's know, going to see something because there's, there's more evidence. people outside than there is inside. So there's just too much evidence, Jack. I mean, you know, take some time. I challenge anybody. Here's my challenge to you guys, man. Here's my challenge to the viewers. Take an hour, two hours, three hours on a Sunday night, you getting ready to wind down. You just had some dinner. You got to go to work tomorrow, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right? Don't research, you know, actual pictures of Bigfoot running through the woods, you know, blob squatches. Stop and look at some of the evidence that these guys got. The footprints, the DNA, which, by the way, there is DNA. You hear people say, well, where's the DNA? There is DNA. There is. The problem is they got nothing to match it to in the database, so it comes back unknown. Okay? Right. There's lots of things, you know? As a matter of fact, I just heard about um, the FBI sent this guy a letter. This guy sent him the FBI sample back in the 60s, and mo he moved after he did. But the FBI did respond to it, you know? And... uh he never got the message and stuff. And the FBI was like, they didn't know what it was, you know, what kind of hair it was from or anything like that. You know what I, mean? I mean, the evidence is overwhelming. 
Yeah, and didn't the uh, Division of Wildlife just recently put out a reward if you catch one? I do know that we do have in the state of Ohio, you know, because as our viewers know, um, Outdoor University is based in Ohio. We fish all over the country. We got stuff coming up. Actually, a lot of deep sea stuff coming up. We got some stuff, uh, you know, in other countries coming up too, by the way, guys. But, um, yeah, they did. They put out, the National Department of Natural Resources put out a two-part series um, acknowledging the existence of Sasquatch. Yes, they have. I think Ohio is what rated second in the nation for sightings. Yes. By, you know, I could be right. I think that's according to the BRFO. I don't know. Or whatever. Yeah, I think we're up there somewhere in there. Could be wrong. Don't kill us on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get us up in the comments, guys. But, uh, you know, I mean, I think you're right, Jack. I think somebody is, I think something's going to happen. But, yeah, the DNR did. A government agency, man. A government agency. Yeah. What's next? I mean, what's next? You know, not too long ago, the government just released those UFO do videos, man. You know, they didn't. They don't know what the hell they're at. You know, but that's that's for a whole another podcast. I don't, don't even get. Me oh yeah, that. you don't want to get me going on that because I have a photo for you. But that's another podcast. What? I oh, have a photo. Yeah. That's right. I forgot you called me the other night freaking out going, dude, the shit of UFO. So you got a photo, huh? Oh, yeah. With 4K phones and oh, yeah, you could you could definitely see it. You, you uh -huh. wait until you see this photo. Right. And after that podcast, stay tuned, guys, that are following us and and everything, because I'm going to post that photo. It ain't gonna be, it's just going to be that photo. And you guys can uh, tell me what you think. Oh. Um. <laughs> All right, all right, you know, but uh, you know, my eyes yeah. are always towards the sky and yeah. out there in the woods, and I hear you, you know. I mean, you know, I'm with you on the podcast thing, you know, I don't have a problem, you know, we'll get it going. You know, hey, send us some pics, guys. Send, yeah. If you got a picture of Bigfoot, shoot it, to send us. them, we'll put it on the podcast. You got a picture of a UFO, shoot it to us. We're I will make yet. it my background, but better yet. If you got a picture of a monster fish, don't send me a picture. Email me. Hit me up. I want to go with you. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. You know how I am about how many of those fish, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've lost a couple lives of fishing. <laughs> 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 so what does Outdoor University got coming up here in the next month or two? What you guys got in the works? Anything um, that we could tell the you viewers? You would know that as well as I do because you got the film schedule too. But let me tell all the viewers what we really got going on, man. We got a lot, a lot. We're going to try this year to separate the videos um, up to smaller segments. Um, we found last year that, the, you know, the segments were too long and too much information blasting people in the face at once. And we want you to retain this information. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, out the university's motto, you know, motto, behavior equals location. Location equals presentation and presentation equals success. You got these guys out there, you know, trying to pass these lures off and, and stuff. And just, just, you know, it, it, it don't matter. You know, you, you can't catch a cheeseburger at Old Navy, bottom line. Uh, you know, because they don't have cheeseburgers. Now, if you want some shoes or something or boots or whatever, or, shirt or whatever pants yeah that's cool well we got that coming up we have um you know this podcast wants and we have a roku channel going i'm um, getting ready to come out we're going to have an amazing store with some of the most amazing products um i think your team is working on that ain't they yep yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i got some of the stuff you sent me today and that's pretty amazing stuff jack uh, that store, that's oh, yeah. really going to be good for our customers to go to one place, you and know, get it cheap. cheap. Yeah. It blows yeah, we're gonna, out of the water. This year, we're going to also try to do some GPS underwater film mapping of structure. We're going to take underwater pictures of structure. We, we got a, 
um, a uh, remote sub goes down there, takes GPS coordinates and pictures. So you'll know of structure. We're going to map the entire lake. We're going to know every piece of structure, every rock. I don't know, you know, everybody of water before I die. That's my goal. I know it's impossible, but I don't care. You know, um, some of your big lakes, you know, uh, like Spring Lake, Clear Lake, Falcon, uh, you know, Dale Hollow, you know, Lake of the Woods, you know, um, West Branch, you know, here in Ohio, man, that's an underrated lake, by the way, guys. Ohio, man, I'm telling you, Northeast Ohio is underrated. Man, we got some, we got some. Man, we really I'm going to get me a muskie this summer. I'm yeah, getting uh, a muskie. Yeah, I'll get you a muskie. I'll oh, man. The one yeah, I got, got last year slipped slipped me three times. Ain't happening this year. He's going to yeah. be bigger, and I'm coming for him. I had one break my damn favorite rod last year. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. But yeah, we got a lot of things coming up in the works. I mean, we really do. A lot of this stuff, you know, we dream big here at Outdoor University. Um, and we work extremely, extremely hard. I mean, I'm up at 4 in the morning, and I don't go to bed until around 10, 11 o'clock at night, you know, call me an old geezer, but I mean, I got to get a, you know, a little bit of sleep, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in my late forties now. I'm not just spring chicken, you know, anymore, but we got a lot of stuff in the works for you guys. We really do. You know, I cannot express to you guys enough on the appreciation that outdoor university has for you and not just outdoor, um, you know, university, but I know you are wicked productions has a lot of appreciation for their, you know, people and some of the stuff that you guys are producing for other people too. Oh yeah. Yeah. We've tried, by the way, guys, we've tried to just keep Jack exclusive to us, but uh, you know, he's got his own thing going on, you know, but you ain't got to worry. You'll see him on camera every time. Oh, he absolutely. Is. He's my personal cameraman. You know, I won't, I won't tolerate any other cameraman. Um, he's my personal cameraman. But, uh, you know, like I said, we really appreciate you guys, man. I cannot explain that enough to you, you know. And, I mean, these podcasts, we're going to have some really good guests on here, um, you know. And on these podcasts, we can really get down to some real honest talk. You know, an honest behavior, you know, about great conversation. You, well, you know, because there's some things I just can't say in the video. You know what I'm saying? There's some things Absolutely. I can't say in the video. You know, let me tell you something. You know, fishermen are weird. You know, they think they know everything. Let me tell you something, man. They don't. Okay. Um, I'm still learning. Okay. And I am an encyclopedia. You know, call me a narcissist, call me whatever you want. But I mean, Jack, you know, that's all I do is spit facts to you all day long because i read all the studies i read all the studies from all the universities i read all the behavioral studies because behavior means everything to me you know but that dictates where you go you know what i'm saying you know that dictates where you go you know i mean you know if you smoke cigarettes you're probably going to go to where they sell cigarettes right yeah. i'm so not going to go to dairy queen you're right they don't have no cigarettes dairy queen so I'm real big on that. But, you know, we got a lot of cool things in the works. You know that, Jack, as well as I do. Um, so, you know, we're really going to concentrate. You know, like I said, that Roku channel, that's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, that's um, going to be real fun. Yeah, I think we're going to have um, – I think we were talking about in the meeting, I, we were talking about having um, – live sales almost like a home shopping network on there but with products that we've tested and we know you know absolutely um yeah just know, to get into be, using all the new equipment for 2022 is going to be great well great. also in 2022 we're launching um outdoor university certified lakes lakes that we have personally fished and have obtained lots of information on all, all over the country not just ohio um and outdoor university certified products, not companies. Because, you know, a lot of Rapala stuff is outdoor certified. I'm outdoor university certified. But there are some stuff that Rapala makes that's garbage. Okay. <laughs> One thing you got to understand about these lure companies, man, is they are trying to catch you. 
in your wallet. That's what they're trying to catch. Um, I'm trying to catch a Bigfoot. But, I mean, yeah. I, <laughs> I didn't, I, you know, I was not, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I wasn't prepared tonight for this Bigfoot conversation. You know what I'm saying? Eh, that's because, all right. I mean, it happens. I got some evidence, man. If you would have said Bigfoot, now, you know, this dang podcast been went on for a long time. As you can see, I just happened to have my Bigfoot hat on. That was an accident. Absolutely. Uh, I like that. Yeah, I didn't even really notice till you said something. I like that. I don't Bigfoot. So, uh, you know, man, I drink my coffee every morning out of a Bigfoot mug. You know, it looks like Bigfoot's face. So, I mean, you know, I'm a Bigfoot man myself. It's, you know, I'm still a skeptic, but, you know, even if they were proved not to be real, I still drink out of my Bigfoot mug. You know, I like it. But, right. All right, guys. Well, hey, let's wrap this up, man, and hit the like button. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit the like button and share. Leave us a comment down there.